Hey guys, what's up? It's Ben Down 12 here, and welcome part 13 of Let's Play Earthbound. In the last episode, we met our new character, Jet, to try and save Ness and Paula. And between episodes, I got him up to level 5, just basically because, so I can handle the enemies a little bit easier. Um, I guess it's not too, too high of a level to grind to, but um, it's level 5, so it's nothing really too bad to worry about. And these guys should be pretty much easy, an easy kill for the runaway dog should die within one hit, but it's not dying, and it is rather annoying because it's a minor annoyance, but the runaway dog became tame nonetheless, and we killed it. We got four experience points. So, let's continue heading down south now, seeing as we've now done what we need to do, well, I've done a little bit of grinding and we're now at a more respectable level. Um, I would probably recommend that you do grind a little bit more, I'm still a little bit... Ugh. And again, that's sort of mean, I'm a bit anal with grinding and stuff like that. And I sort of can't be too careful, and I like to get up to really insanely high levels and be over leveled. but oh well, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, let me get down here. I'm, just, I'm really sorry about this, I'm just having a terrible brain fart today, I don't know. Well, that's not my excuse for everything, but, uh, well, I think if we head up here, and head down here, that would probably be a bit more progression. But there we go, there's nothing in that tent of value or worth or anything like that. Come down here, there's some people having a look around, I suppose this is Lake Tess or whatever the hell they were talking about. And that so-called, um, Loch Ness monster that allegedly exists, I don't know if it does. I heard the wind is always blowing and Tessie appears. I chew. I feel like I'm catching a cold. Guess that's what happens when you hang around in the bloody dead of night all the time. Tessie may be unexpectedly living in the woods. I personally think so. Okay, um, I think you're getting your um, mythological creatures mixed up. I believe that is Bigfoot that is in the woods, not Tessie. Or Lake. Loch Ness Monster, I suppose. So we've also been bitten by Testy Mania. <laughs> we may be able to see Testy tomorrow. I can't wait. Well, I can't wait either. Um, if you come in here, let's cook for the Tessie Watching Club. Have some stew, alright? Free stew, that's always good. I suppose that counts as a sleep thing. And Paula is having a yaps. Shut up, Paula. We heard you the first 500 times, Paula. Please, you're <laughs> just embarrassing yourself. And um, the broken spray can we had down in our inventory is now fixed. That's the defense spray. It will raise the defense of one of your characters, but however, it's only a one-use item. I personally do not use them when I LP myself. And the sun is up and the wind is blowing, so apparently that means that's, um... Something very good happening. Like a piece of gum? Maybe monkeys don't like gum. This monkey does, you idiot. This is what we've finally been waiting for. Finally, it's coming out. <laughs> Excuse me. Tessie is emerging. Oh, I thought you were talking about that fart. Saying, jeez, nothing in here. I think there's another one. It's just this random bone book up. Let's go in here. Why are we flag? I hate you. Yeah, there's some random phone. I have no clue how that's hooked up to anything. And unfortunately, we have met our friends, the now unfortunate friend, the photographic genius. Okay, get ready for instant memory. Say penis, penis. Now we can go away, it's rather annoying, that bloke. And we head down here, Bubble Monkey will carry on like an idiot, give me some gum now, I'll take care of everything. Suppose now we're gonna rescue the Loch Ness monster, it actually does exist, I was wrong after all I suppose. And if, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head down a little bit further south and hopefully get to Ness and Co. Or the monkey's just gonna take Loch Ness Monster and piss off, or Tessie and piss off. Should probably stick to the um, terminology of the game, but no, we're heading down here and it's a little cutscene, nothing really exciting happens for the next couple of minutes. We're just heading down the coastline, if I remember correctly, the music in this is actually quite good as well. Enjoy the music for a couple of seconds, I suppose, while I stop talking. Okay, well, you got to sample some of the music, and 
really nothing else too much to say about this little cutscene and all that. Heading down further in winters and it's pretty much it, we're gonna get off him now because that's pretty much all we need to do. We're gonna be ready to head into our next dungeon, the place of laziness. Which we'll see that in a few minutes and Tessie just goes and drowns, I don't know. I think the Loch Ness Monster, if it exists, I don't believe it does, but whatever, is amphibious. So, um, I do take my comment back about it not being a, its inability to breathe. And hey, there's some gruff goats down here too. Let's go down in two hits now, that's pretty good. Um, unfortunately I don't get a level here, but very well that's life. Just eat a cookie and I suppose I'll eat a bread roll because that part did take a little bit of damage out of me, unfortunately, but oh well. And Iron Pencil Statue, we can't really do too much about now. Right in here. This is a maze of doom and destruction. Goodbye, Yellow Rick Road, I suppose. Rowdy Mouse, we've dealt with these guys before, so I think that. Yeah, if you remember right correctly, um, back room giant step. So the ones that will either use a get a smash attack or they'll just hit one on you. But they really aren't too much bother in my, for me at least. Probably around the same difficulty of where you were when you were back at giant step. Probably a bit higher because Jeff's offenses, Jeff's offensive stats are significantly higher. Bread roll, that's always useful for health. Head down here because we can progress. Weird duck thing. And I want to get an item. These ducks, I think, they're just weird. They just, they don't really attack much. I think they can make you feel strange or something like that. I don't really remember fighting these things all that much. They're just retarded enemies from all I remember. It. They go down without much of a fight. So it's always free experience. Free experience is always great. Let's see what's in you. Insector spray at side spray will kill any insects, which I don't think we have to deal with anyway, so it's a bit redundant. So let's head down here. Present. Oh, uh, missed that other item. Oh well. Worthless protoplasm. This is really a fantastic enemy, to be honest. They don't really do much. They they're okay for grinding, I suppose, because they call for other worthless protoplasms, but that's really much it to them. I don't think they even give that much experience. I think give a decent amount. It's alright. It's nothing to write home about, of course, but, you know, 17's a bit better than the stuff they're getting from the runaway dogs and spike crows outside the place. And another duck. Uh, the ducks have the ability to cancel your ability to use PSI, not that Jeff has any, so it's pretty much redundant. And we get a sandwich, cross sandwich. And we'll head across here and another worthless protoplasm. Those things can get pretty annoying pretty quickly. They're minor annoyance because they just really do nothing, they accomplish nothing. I'm not going to deal with that item, and here's a random phone, Maxwell Labs here, oh, hello Jeff, how are you, yeah, I'll just continue anyway, um, that's pretty much it for the dungeon, or the bulk of the dungeon, yeah. so this guy is Brick Road, the dungeon developer, he's devoted his life to making dungeons, and he wants to become Dungeon Man, <laughs> you know, it's not a bird, it's not a plane, it's Dungeon Man, Why would you want to become half man, half dungeon? It's just... What the heck? It doesn't make any sense. Like, I know Earthbound's a game with little to no logic, and that's pretty much what makes it so great, but... Jeez. Anyway, he'll heal you up for, as a reward for completing his dungeon, which is quite good. If we, you know, we got to deal with another little dungeon thingy. Now we're going for time. 10.30, that should be okay for now. We'll head through here and then we'll end things off, I suppose. And we, with that, we got to level 7. I just want to check Jeff's IQ. Not quite high enough yet to get the gun upgrade, unfortunately. And get the hamburger, so we can use that for healing. Because we could get into a bit of bother here. I don't think we will. 
I might as well leave this battle in then anyway. Um, I'm almost dead, so I better heal up. Actually, no, I don't want to spy. Use the hand uh, use the sandwich because I'm gonna die if I don't use the sandwich and I don't want to die. So, um, because those attack slugs are really dangerous. If they want to, even though it's only half the time it will do quite a lot of damage, but it does take a fair bit out of your health if you're not paying much attention, like I was, so. Attack slug became tame, the rowdy mouse became tame, get 61 experience, so basically the same enemies you saw back in Giant Step, so. Head through here. Why aren't we able to head through here? And I believe these are the ants from previously as well. Or oh, more attack slugs, sorry. Might as well leave this in as well. I just can't be bothered right now. I'm editing. Well, not commentating to edit stuff out. Gnosis, thankfully, that didn't make us go to sleep. These guys go down quite quickly. I don't know how much experience they're supposed to give because of the rowdy mouse and all that. I think they give out decent amounts of experience, so. So good, 81, level 8. Uh, yeah, we are leveling up quite a fair bit. So IQ went up, I won, like, maximum HP went right up. That's always good. Because when that sort of stuff happens. Another rowdy mouse in this. I'll leave this one out. Well, at least the attack slugs are going down in one hit. That's a good thing because I don't have to fight so much. Well, I don't have to edit out so much fighting material, not that it's a problem. Mushrooms, I'm not dealing with them. They can go away. The last thing I need right now is to be mushroomized. So they've gone away, which is... Thank God for that. No, 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 no. I'm not dealing with you mushroom people. Oh, I really hate these things. Hopefully I don't get mushroomized. Just hurry up and kill these things before they mushroom us. Oh, thank god they didn't hit me. With the mushroomizing attack, but the mushroom is dead, which is good. And we get 95 XP and a cookie. Don't really want the cookie, but oh well. Beggars can't be choosers. Kill you two, because I don't like you. Mushrooms are evil! Evil! These mushrooms just suck. I don't know. I probably should re record this actually. Um, I'm just getting the feeling that I'm not really doing that good a job with this LP. I don't know why. But... I don't know, whatever. Maybe it's just I'm in a bit of a rut with college and all that right now. It's just I just don't have the time to really record and all this and practice and do anything really and put do much research into the game. It's just like commentary is sort of a bit shitty. I do want to give this game its proper justice. I don't know, keep going with it to see how it goes, I suppose. I am having fun with it, not, like, definitely having fun with it. Can't do anything about that rope at the moment. I believe if we give the pack of bubble gum to the bubble monkey, we can get up here, and he'll free us from, or he'll let the rope down, and we can go up the cliff and get out of the cave. That's probably going to end the episode off, then, when we get out of here, so... If you see that, it's next to your sanctuary location. Go away, mushroom. I just don't have the patience to deal with you right now. Let's just get out of here before we deal with them. We can't really do anything about that your sanctuary location until we get out of here. And... What's this? Yeah, she's my type. I think I'll ask her for a day. And he goes off chasing after her and not the monkey, but he's out with his usefulness, so he can go do that. He's free to do whatever he wants. Next episode, we're going to finish our little track down south, and I thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.